Canto 4, The Sexual Energies The 21st Aphorism Balance comes from understanding the effect of the emotional body upon the physical and the physical body upon the emotional. Balance, as described here, is related to the conscious and subconscious mind. It is a sub-superconscious feeling, which is true understanding, bred of qualified thinking, seasoned with intuition, of balance between the physical body and the emotions. This only comes when the mind is tempered with enough creative power so that the will can dominate the emotions long enough to produce a subconscious knowing, which comes when the creative forces have been utilized in their higher forms by the will. The 22nd Aphorism The conscious release of the creative forces to lower channels tends to slow down the physical and mental bodies leading to a conscious sleep. When carried to excess, this leads to their ultimate destruction. All of the energy of the body becomes directed in the channels of sex when the consciousness coupled with the will to release or dissipate this energy is coordinated. The mentality then becomes slow and sluggish, as does the body if carried to excess. A remedy to this is the reverse, and the mind will then become more awake than ever, as does the body. The 23rd aphorism. Transmutation must be attained and maintained to build up a so-called bank account in the subconscious of the conscious mind so that the desires, feelings and tendencies of the sub-subconscious can be automatically handled in the purification process. The meaning of transmutation as used in this treatise is to transform, to change from a so-called gross form to a subtle form. This force that you possess is of the greatest value and in its qualified conscious control without suppression we can build a great reserve of power within your subconscious mind and the subtle forces of the body so that when you begin the deeper studies of your consciousness consciously cognizing your mind this reverse force will lend itself in giving you stability, concentration and power to break through the thin veil that leads us to identify ourselves with that which we have created. The 24th Aphorism Sublimation is the working of the sex energies either mentally, on the conscious intellectual plane or through physical exercise. Transmutation is the permanent change of one form to another. To sublimate the sexual energies, regular habit patterns, physical exercise, intellectual development, and the deliberate control over the lower emotions must happen before true transmutation, which is changing the form of gross energies into refined energies or lifting the gross pranas from the lower chakras into the higher chakras. A moment of anger, misunderstanding, non-acceptance of the law of karma, a moment of forgetfulness could plummet the higher energies into the lower chakras below the muladhara, stopping the transmutation process. The sublimation of the vital forces is called sadhana in the Hindu vernacular. The 25th aphorism. To consciously understand the functions of the physical body as against an educated subconscious knowing of the emotional unit coupled with the sub-superconscious cognition of the mind as an object is the secret of transmutation, the essence of Raja Yoga. The aphorism explains itself in the clearest terms. It may have to be thought over to become fully qualified in your subconscious. The word yoga mentioned herein is the Hindu word meaning to yoke, to join two objects together, namely the conscious and the superconscious mind, creating a vacuum so that the consciousness can expand beyond the mind. This is attained through transmutation. The 26th aphorism The creative or sex energy with its desires resulting in passions must first be regulated, then consciously totally suppressed, 
the faculties of thinking will then be stimulated enough to consciously understand its causes and effects. This develops willpower, leading the ego from concentration into meditation, then to contemplation. After this, the passionate nature can be controlled and will be depolarized. The mind and physic will have undergone a change. Then, only then, will transmutation commence. Here again, we have an aphorism that is self-explanatory. But for the fact that when you begin to transmute your energies, you will have to begin by putting your mind at ease, so that the mind will not be at cross purposes with itself, torn between the desire to disagree out of habit and the desire to transmute born from unqualified intellect. Before transmutation really gets underway, we must suppress the sexual nature enough so that the old habit mind let us freely begin to understand all of our repressions, desires and feelings in regards to sex. After thus suppressing, understanding takes the place of repression. The vibration in the body becomes refined. The sub-superconscious mind consciously works through the subconscious and it becomes easy to transmute the creative forces without suppression and use them through higher channels. Those who practice transmutation awaken many latent talents from within, artistically and otherwise. It becomes easy for them to create and express themselves as they are automatically in tune with the essence of creative energy.